Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm going to be using these amber-colored dice with little gears inside that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. Let's get things started with our Roll for Bread. Four, frozen French toast. Well, I appreciate that the dice waited until after our curse was over to roll this, so I will be using the toast bread cantrip to warm these up. All right, we've got some thawed French toast ready to make into some kind of sandwich. Next up, let's roll for main. Three, tuna. All right, tuna on French toast is not uh, the most ideal. It's also our second sandwich in a row with a fish main. Really gonna start the week off on a fishy foot. Great. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Three, Munster. All right, well, the dice win a couple points back because I'm a big fan of Munster. Not sure it'll help, but thanks. Let's roll for our roughage. 11, none, and 12 roll twice. Okay, they're just laughing at me. All right, roll twice for that 12. Five, red onion, and 10 pickles. Red onion's not a bad roll here. Should give us a slight crunch and some nice flavor. Should go well with the tuna. At the very least, it'll add some nice color to the sandwich. Now, pickles are definitely a good roll. When I make tuna salad, I usually include relish or pickles. The acid and crunch work well with the tuna. Things are looking up a bit. Let's get wild with our wild magic roll. 12 pepitas. Pepitas are the seeds of specifically the oil seed or styrian pumpkin varieties. They naturally do not have a hole, and that's why they look different than the ones you get when you carve a pumpkin. They are harvested to be used in all kinds of ways, from making pestos to topping salads to just eating raw or roasted. They provide a nice nutty crunch, and honestly, I'm game to have them on this sandwich. All right, and last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. 15, Heckler Hot Sauce. Heckler Hot Sauce is a cayenne-based hot sauce similar to Frank's Red Hot. Taste-wise, I think this should go great on this. Though I was hoping for a sauce with a little bit more substance since we've got that dry tuna. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together and let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. Okay. Well, Monday is gonna Monday, I guess. Last week was a fluke. Though it seems like maybe the dice tried to rally in the second half. I guess we'll find out. Let's give it a taste. Honestly, taste-wise, it isn't terrible. The French toast is a little sweet for this application. Honestly, the texture is getting me more than anything. You've got that dry tuna on top of that very eggy, soft French toast. Just ends up kind of being a lot of mush. The hot sauce and the pickles, the vinegary elements kind of did pull the flavor up from where it would have been, but I don't think it was enough. I've definitely had a lot worse sandwiches on this show, but this one really isn't much. It's a 4.7, I think, today, and I'm going to call it the Blue Monday. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you again on Wednesday.